Hey, everybody, we're off and running on this Saturday, first Saturday in May edition of Thoroughbred Action here from Gulfstream Park. Jason Blewett joining you and catching up with you from our clubhouse studios. And we're glad you're with us because traditionally Kentucky Derby Day, that won't happen until the first Saturday in September at Churchill Downs. But locally here at Gulfstream, this was a really solid Saturday program. Twelve races in all, three stakes, a gigantic, gargantuan Rainbow Six guarantee. Let's get to work as we get those track and weather conditions. Racing at Gulfstream. Turn of events in Maine. The first two out. Moving between horses. Lascari is quickly up to take over. Moving out the inside. That's Constitutional Pal in the charge to the first turn. Lascari gets a clear advantage over turn of events in Maine, who settle in second and third. Constitutional Pal is on hold while fourth. Just on his outside, an elusive ruler out three wide. That's Hero Doro, saving ground at the inside. And racing a bit tight is Coach Temple. He's headstrong in between runners and mighty tough. Then it's a gap of another two to headstrong Windoro. He's drawing closer as they try to back it down mid-race. Up on the outside goes East Lex, and Irked is at the back. Meanwhile, that was Coach Temple who was checked off heels, and he's now scattered to the back of the group through the opening quarter of 22-4. and four. Lascari has the lead. He's pushed along every yard by Maine in the two-path. He races from second. Turn of events has had a good run of it third. Up on the outside, elusive roller is now racing in fourth. From between horses and constitutional pal next at the inside. That's mighty tough. East Lex is going to have to go four wide. That'll send Irad into action on Hero Doro. Hero Doro losing his spot as East Lex is on the move. From the back and Wind Doro underway for Gaff Leon. Irked has dropped back. Coach Temple never involved after early trouble as they run to the top of the stretch. They converge on Lascari, and Elusive Ruler is up to take the lead. East Lex and Windoro on the outside. Turn of events, Hunt's racing room toward the rail, and they're at the top of the stretch. Elusive Ruler comes away with the lead. East Lex to the attack. Windoro is next. They've got Constitutional Pal boxed in. Final 16th of a mile. Turn of events is trying to thread the needle at the inside of Elusive Ruler, who's still the leader. Elusive Ruler has the lead. Elusive Ruler wins. Turn of events was second. Windoro third, close for fourth. Either Hero Doro or East Lex in 134 and 4. at the beginning was lucky to be in America but he broke near the lead meanwhile Grand Causeway was a step slow to get going from between horses sighted now after the front Nacho Papa splitting horses and on the go and he'll land in front sighted is second lucky to be in America is third London Werewolf is now fourth Grand Causeway picking it up blue colors up between runners out wide an American Rock Salt two in front of King's Castle Baba Toby's at the back with Fives Wild Around the far turn, they race through an opening quarter of 23 seconds flat. Up top, it's Nacho Papa, half length better than Lucky to Be in America, who creeps closer while second, back to third, sighted Grand Causeway fourth. American Rock Salt is from between horses and now fifth. Then comes London Werewolf, 5 16ths from home. Lucky to be in America, overhauls the leader, Nacho Papa, who tries to cut the corner and fight back. Drifting very wide and doing himself no favors was Grand Causeway, then London Werewolf as they turn for home. Lucky to be in America, now has the lead, but Nacho Papa, game and fighting right back second. Back to third and running on is London Werewolf. Final 16th of a mile, here's Lucky to be in America one more time, but Nacho Papa pins his ears one more time. These two, here's the line, photo finish! If Lucky to be in America got by, it was in the last jump. It's very close in 111 and 3.
medication, no problem. Run happy, standing at Claiborne Farm. very awkwardly at the back was Newthworthy and crowded inside was Adjar. The rest of them line up for the lead, driving through inside. Superfecto wanted to keep his rail spot, and Jaramillo did that, and now he's in front over a tugging Arefeche, who's now second. Hard lighting is on the outside of Ragtag. They're third and fourth. Adjar is not happy about the kickback. He's tugging very hard while racing in fifth. Outside goes Cornbread Kingdom, and after a less than stellar getaway, Newsworthy settles in at the back of the field behind the lead of Superfecto. Superfecto on top by two, or Efeche is there, second, hard lighting. Up on the outside is now third, Ragtag is in early fourth. Back to fifth and Adchar, then Cornbread Kingdom, and still at the back is Newsworthy. Less than five eights to run. Superfecto has the lead. The big favorite of Refiche is now racing from second. Hard lighting is on the outside in third. Ragtag is now back to fourth. Adchar is fifth. Sixth is Cornbread Kingdom, and Newsworthy is seventh and last. 47 and 4 for the opening half mile. They go to the first finish line here and they take it to the far turn. Superfecto tries to stretch him out a bit. He leads by two and a half. Our FHA now set down for the drive. He's not responding yet. Hard lighting is next with Adjar, then at the inside and ragtag, followed by Cornbread Kingdom. Superfecto trying to throw the knockout blow here. Superfecto bumps the margin to five. Hard lighting is now second. Adjar on the outside is third. The favorite didn't fire after three quarters and 111 and three. Superfecto tries Trying to continue on with it here. Superfecto off the turn by six. Howard Lighting and Adjar second and third. Aramil still going on Superfecto, and he's strong up front. Superfecto by five. Hard Lighting has run a great race, but he's only second best to Superfecto. A third race winner at 13 to one. Hard Lighting second, Adjar was third, then Cornbread Kingdom. stumble at the beginning for Kay's dream and that bounced into invaluable so she's now last. It was a great beginning for our little devil who's headed off for the yearly lead. Moving up on the outside is Spiritu de Luna now takes second. Little Miss Macho is third. Shea Paris is now into fourth outside in private message. Teenage Kicks is down at the inside working four ahead of invaluable. Then it's Kay's dream and at the back she's so naughty. Half a mile from the finish, our little devil and jockey Mario Fuentes off the lead by two. Espiritu de Luna is now racing in second on the outside. Private message is now third. Shea Pari between horses. Little Miss Macho is next. Irad Ortiz Jr. on the favorite. Teenage Kicks is the gray. She's about five lengths off the lead while our little devil continues to lead. Our little devil to the top of the stretch leads by two. Private message on the outside is now into second. Teenage Kicks just claimed third through a 46-second half mile. Private message has the measure of our little devil but she has to hold off teenage kicks there's an eighth of a mile to go private message has the lead teenage kicks on the outside is still second back to third and our little devil teenage kicks wanders that did her no favors as private message maintains the lead private message is in front teenage kicks is second big run late from invaluable she got third then little miss macho and shaper was off just a beat slow. Good start for Silent Tiger in Jamaica, and they're the first two out. Fish Fan put into play early. Zalz is away with speed toward the rail fourth. Pachanga Party is next. Then it's Valdaco and Finnegan. At the rail goes Dr. Harlan. Charge card, and at the back of the field is Black Pepper. Half mile to the finish. It's Jamaican and Chris Lenderos who have the lead. They lead a length and a half. 
Silent Tiger is second, Fish Fan on the outside third. Zalza tries to keep up with the embattled trio, races in fourth now, but he's losing a bit of ground. Out wide on the course in Pachanga Party. Torres needs some place to go for Dr. Harlan as Fuentes has him covered up on Valdaco. As the back of the field, Finnegan's doing no running of any kind, and Jamaican tries to go it all the way here. Jamaican to the top of the stretch, leads by two and a half. They're stretched out behind him. Silent Tiger is still second. Dr. Harlan still has a shot. He's going to try to get through down inside. He did get through, and he's got three lengths to raise to get Jamaican with an eighth of a mile left to go. Valdaco storming home down the center. Sixteenth to go. Jamaican is still the target. Valdaco down the center, surging Dr. Harlan with Silent Tiger. Sixteenth to go. Jamaican almost home. It's uh, Jamaican and Valdaco coming up on the outside. Here's the line. Photo finish. Too tight to call. Was it Jamaican hanging on, or did he get nailed in 111 and 2? Excellent beginning for one hot drama, and she's right on the early lead from Freezer Burn, who's away in second. Glory Dia is out sprinted. She's now fourth as Sweetheart Deal moves up to take third. Fast Fia Noela mid-flight with Lori Lupi's between. Then it's customer experience, and the trailer is smitten for Smitty. Down the back stretch they go, heading to the half-mile ground. Sweetheart Deal now moves through inside to take the lead. On the outside, One Hot Drama is now second. Lori Lupis sharply to the leaders now, three wide third. In the red, it's Glory Dia looking for rail, running from fourth. Freezer Burn is next. Fast Fia Noela is now called it a day, passed by customer experience, and smitten for Smitty's at the back as Lori Lupis makes a bid for the top. Lori Lupis past the 5 16ths, moves to a two length lead. Sweetheart Deal second. One Hot Drama third. Glory Dia stays at the rail and tries to run home. Back to customer experience, and they're at the top of the stretch. They went 45 and 4 for the opening half mile. Lori Lupis trying to put the finishing touches on a very nice effort. She's an eighth of a mile from home and well clear out here. Second is Sweetheart Deal. Glory Dia's trying to hold third or gain ground into second, but nobody's getting to Lori Lupis. Lori Lupis is sharp in victory. She won by five in the end. Second, Sweetheart Deal. Glory Dia did save third. Smitten for Smitty. Fourth. From the center, my GPS wins the break and is immediately taken in hand as Smell of Roses moves up on the outside to drive to the lead. Driving through inside, Conquistador will now be part of the pace scenario as Bebo gets floated a bit wide on the course. Race favorite positive Phil has the rail secure. He works ahead of Ole Mole. Then it's a headstrong Poppy's Boys. Not so subtle as three wide, followed by Vita Dolce and looking at Roses. And the trailer is January 1. And the charge to the backstretch, it's Conquistador tugging on Zayas. Wants to go faster than he is, but he's on top of length and a quarter. Smell of Roses is second. My GPS was well away, and he's now third at the inside, followed fourth by Bebo. Not so subtle on the outside. Positive fills in the two path. Poppy's boy still headstrong toward the rail. A Rod's got no place to go there. Three wide in Ole Mole, four wide Vita Dolce, then back to looking at Roses, and the trailer is January 1. 
Inside half a mile to the finish as they went 47-3 and three for the opening half mile. Conquistador still has the lead. He leads a length and a half. Looking at Roses is now trying to muster a charge from the back as Smell of Roses is up to second. My GPS is third and ridden. From fourth, it's Bebo. Positive Phil sliding through at the inside as my GPS came off the rail. Then Poppy's boys and looking at Roses as they turn for home. On the inside, Conquistador fights to hold it. Conquistador, Smell of Roses is second. Positive Phil third. Looking at Roses and Poppy's boys are next. 16th to go. Here comes Positive Phil over the top. Positive Phil at Conquistador. Positive Phil wins. Conquistador salvages second, looking at Roses out of time while third in 128 and 2. in the center and shuffled the last with Sandino Ruler pushed off heels. Good start for Alerstra from between horses. Gump is being put into play. Just for one day, drives through at the inside, and Bo Luminari moves up from the far outside. So as they run out of the chute, it's Gump who has the lead. Just for one day, down at the inside, he continues to move closer, and now he's a neck on top. Third is Bo Luminari, two and a half lengths back to Cool Bobby. He's now fourth. After a good getaway, Alerstra is mid-flight, driving through inside, goes over to Liver, followed by Sandino Ruler. Two and a half to Kid Bourbon, and the trailer is be gone, Daddy. Five furlongs from home. 23 seconds for a strong opening quarter as they head to the half-mile point. Just for one day, leads three parts of a length. Gump on the outside is second. Bo Luminari is now third. Cool Bobby is fourth. Over deliver, progressing nicely toward the rail fifth. Two and a half to Alerstra, then Kid Bourbon and Be Gone Daddy. And Sandino Ruler is at the back. Three furlongs remains. Gump tries to fight him off, but he's got a host of challengers. From behind the speed, it's over deliver who needs room bad. Up the challenge for Gump's lead is Bo Luminari. Cool Bobby is four wide. Just for one day, calls it a day. Kid Bourbon tries to continue on with it with a quarter of a mile left to go. Off the turn and the stretch drive, Bo Luminare comes away with the lead. He leads by two. Over deliver to the attack second. Gump is back to third. Kid Bourbon is still closing while fourth. Less than an eighth to go. Over deliver. Just keeps charging, and now he's charged to the front. Bo Luminare can do nothing about it as it's over deliver to win under Irad Ortiz Jr. by two in the end. Bulluminari second, Gump was third, then Kid Berman, and be gone, Daddy! Racing in the Honey Rider Stags. Ivietsu was slow to go. Quick to go was Mamina's team. Down at the inside, M. Voltant is moving to take her on. Up on the far outside, Bajan Girl working over from her high draw. Into the top flight goes Astoria Kitten. She's now third. Racing into fifth now, that's Diamonds R.A., who's down toward the inside for Juarez, followed by La Russia and Michelin. The favorite Highland Glory is in a tough spot down at the inside, and she's on heels, having to tap on the brakes. After a slow beginning, Ivietsu rushing up four wide. Seducer is three wide. Stunning Sky settled in, and at the back is Onyx. Into the back stretch they go. It's Envoltant in front by half a length. In the two-path, Mamina's team is second. Astoria Kitten on the outside, third. Here's a big run from Ivietsu. Five wide on the course and all the way up into a length and a half off the lead. Four wide is Bajan Girl. Back from there goes the team of Seducer outside of Diamonds RA, who's down toward the inside. Michelin's in the blue colors. Mid-flight for Bravo, a length better than Stunning Sky. Highland Glory is back racing in 10th. 11th is La Russia. And Onyx is 12th and last as they swing to the far turn. 
Envoutant has the lead. Astoria Kitten, the nearest pursuer, second. Mamina's team is dropping back third. Michelin slides through at the inside now to take over fourth. Highland Glory tries to follow her. Stota's Sunning Sky, they both got rail runs as they move to the top of the stretch. Less than a quarter of a mile to go on the Honey Rider. It's Envoutant who comes away with the lead with work to do. Mamina's team back for more. Highland Glory tries to split horses. She has to angle to the inside as Michelin gets the run down the center. Stunning Sky on the far outside. 16th to go. Michelin was tripped out and Michelin and jockey Joe Bravo will win going away. Going to be a good battle for second. Too tight to call. Heads bobbing up and down between Stunning Sky and Highland Glory. But Michelin, a 17 to 1 winner in 141 lap. mistakes. Check back to last was Garter and Ty. Good start out wide for Royal Squeeze. Here's the big favorite Network Effect, and he's going to be put into play early today. And Network Effect, as the odds on choice, leads by an Eck. He Hate Me is there second. Royal Squeeze parked on their outside third. Last Judgment is at the inside. Gaffleone's got a decision to make there. Red Crescent is alongside. Three back to Garter and Ty, and Noble Drama is last. Down the back stretch they go, and out the center, Royal Squeeze quickens things up to put a neck on top. Toward the inside, Network Effect tries to stay with him. Second, He Hate Me is alongside, then Red Crescent. Gaffleone took hold of Last Judgment in the early stages, so now he needs racing room, and he comes under pressure. Passed out wide by Garter and Ty, and at the back is Noble Drama, and up front it's Royal Squeeze. Royal Squeeze, three furlongs from home and three parts in front. He Hate Me and Red Crescent, the nearest pursuers. Network Effect is being shuffled. Bravo's on the move with Noble Drama on the far outside. At the back is Last Judgment. Who do you like here? Talented Field turns for home with less than a quarter of a mile to go. Noble Drama sweeping up out wide to take the lead. The rail is open for Network Effect, and he fires through. These two with less than an eighth to go. Network Effect got through when he needed to, and he's quicking up nicely now. Network Effect. Effect at 305 will turn away Noble Drama to win the big drama. Network effect in front. Noble Drama second, last judgment third, then Royal Squeeze and Red Crescent. in the English Channel. Proven strategies away quickly down at the inside just in the nick of time got away in good shape. Island Commission on the outside trying to work over so is ever dangerous in the charge to the first turn. Blue colors of summer to remember just behind me in Battled Trio. Racing between horses and Don Juan Kitten. He's only three behind. Saving ground at the rail goes Express Pharaoh. He's a half length in front of Doc Boy who's in the two paths. South Bend is three wide. The two at the back are Gaffo and Fame to Famous. And the charge around the first turn, the son of Justin Phillip, just in the nick of time, in front by an Eck. Up on the outside, Proven Strategies is there, second, three wide, third, and Island Kamish. Summer to remember has had a good run of it at this stage. He's racing in fourth in the two path, and racing from fifth is Don Juan Kitten. Outside sixth, and ever dangerous, Express Pharaoh is seventh, Doc Boy is eighth, ninth is South Bend, tenth is Gaffo, and Fame to Famous is eleventh and last through a 47-second half mile. 
They're inside half a mile from home and losing the lead just in the nick of time as Proven Strategies has now made an advantage. He's a half length in front of Island Commission, moves to take second. That's all for just in the nick of time. Summer to remembers in the two path. Three wide and Don Juan Kitten out there, four deep and ever dangerous. Express Feral Hunt's racing room, so does Gaffo. Gaffo's got a lot of traffic to negotiate. He appears to have some run though, trying to run home from the back and out wide in South Bend and they're at the top of the stretch. Island Commission, Proven Strategies come away on top. Don Don Juan Kitten is next. Gafo is loose and charging. He's an eighth of a mile from home and five off the leader, but here he comes. Gafo is launching at Proven Strategies. Proven Strategies better hurry up as Gafo's got him. Gafo going away. Stellar ride from Irad Ortiz Jr. there, and Gafo ran down Proven Strategies. Summer to remember third and 139 and three. Good start for bright side of the road toward the inside and the center paint the corners put into play early. Dance Till Dawn won't be far away and drinks on me trying to angle over. She's four wide currently. Then Dangerous Woman as bright side of the road settles back. Two in front of Hotty Totty out wide in Beach Dreaming. The gray little coat is nearest the inside and three to the trailer. Much about it. Three-way scrum for the early lead as Paint the Corners holds inside position. Dance Till Dawn in the two-path. Three wide drinks on me. Dangerous Woman at a big number is down inside fourth, followed by Bright Side of the Road. Then Hottie Totty, closer than usual, only about five and a half lengths off the lead. She's a length and a half in front of Beach Dreaming, who's third last. Second last little code, and the trailer is much about it. Five-eighths left to go, 24 seconds for the opening quarter. Paint the corners in front by a length and a quarter. Second is Dance Till Dawn. Drinks on me's on her outside. Down at the inside and Dangerous Woman as they went 48-4 and four for the opening half mile. Bright side of the road has had a good run of it to this point, racing only about four lengths behind. Then it's an improving Beach Dreaming who's outside of Hottie Totty. Still at the back are a little code and much about it. They swing around the far turn, three furlongs from the finish. Paint the corners has the lead. Three wide, bright side of the road goes on the attack in between horses and drinks on me. Dangerous Woman is next, followed by Beach Dreaming. The rest will have to hurry up, and they're at the top of the stretch. Paint the corners still has the lead to the attack. Bright side of the road from between horses and drinks on me. Now in the center and Beach Dreaming coming alive while fourth, less than an eighth to go. Four chances here. Din side, paint the corners, two paths, drinks on me. Bright side of the road, Beach Dreaming on the outside, helming for the wire, paint the corners, turned them away. Four wins for Jaramillo as paint the corners went gate to wire in 142 and one. And we are back at it here tomorrow afternoon, a 12-race Sunday card at Gulfstream Park. First race post about 12.50 Eastern. We'll see you then. Good night from all of us here on Thoroughbred Action. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Hit the hay. 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 Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack. I'm so tired.